Well, thanks for uh, joining us. Uh, on behalf of the leadership, on behalf of Session and the building team, we wanted to give you uh, an update on what is happening with our building, on what is happening with uh, the capital campaign. You know, it is really exciting to see what God is doing uh, in the midst of our church. Um, I don't know of a single church in Canada that has entered into a building plan or um, a capital campaign in the midst of COVID. And so it has been absolutely uh, amazing. And so we thank you so much for the ways in which you have uh, supported us. Even as I'm sharing right now, uh, we are seeing some incredible things happening with the usage of our building. Um, as of today, uh, we have five outside community groups using our building. You see, this restoration, this renovation is not just about fixing up the building for our usage. It's about using our building for the benefit of others. Our building becomes a part of our vision of being for Paris. And so we're going to share some, some different locations. We're going to give you some updates and we're going to talk about some next steps. We're so glad that you are a part of what we are doing. So where are we at? Uh, as you know, last summer we completed the sanctuary renovation. And now we have begun the work of the restoration of the outside part of the building. At the start of April, we began. There were some slight delays uh, because of a lack of materials due to COVID. Uh, some weather played into it, but we are continuing to progress. And so now the expected completion date is either January or early spring. But here is part of that piece. Robertson Restoration has confirmed that any additional costs is incurred because of the extra time needed will be covered by them and so we are continuing to remain on budget and so as we look at where we are with the capital campaign we see that we are in good shape in terms of money on hand and pledges that have been made so far we're approximately around 1.5 million dollars expenses to date has been about six hundred thousand dollars Pledges that have come in have been about a third, so about $500,000. And so what does that mean? It means so far we have completed all the work without having to access any loan. We have been debt free so far, and that's the process we wanna look into moving forward. So, next steps. Leadership, session, building team is looking at what does it look like moving forward? Once the restoration piece is finished, do we continue with an interior renovation? On October the 17th, we would love for you to join us for a congregational meeting immediately following the service where we can begin to share with you what some of the plans may be. But let's jump inside to get a bit of a sneak peek. And so with COVID, uh, things have changed. And so the building team, the architects, session, we are now looking at a revised plan of how do we move forward with an interior renovation, uh, an improved entrance, but perhaps putting the addition on hold. But the plan with budget is gonna be presented on October the 17th at 1130 following the morning service. So we'd love for you to come and to be a part of it. The idea is that we can still do the addition down the road and that nothing will be lost. But we wanna be good stewards. And we realize that none of this can happen without the generosity of so many of you. And so thank you for the way that you have supported and made your pledge and made your faith commitments with regards to how we can move forward. I was thinking of my kids recently, and when they wanna make a purchase, one of the first questions I asked them is, well, how much money do you have? Because that is a deciding factor as to whether or not they can move forward. The same is true for us as a church. We wanna make wise, good decisions based upon what we know we have moving forward. Now I know that many of you have stepped up and have made a commitment or you've told us that you're unable to do so at this time. We completely understand. But there's a number of you because of a variety of reasons, COVID inability to meet, still thinking it through, have not yet let us know what your decision is. This is my ask. Can you please just let us know whether you're able to make a commitment or if you're unable to at this time. We totally, totally understand. We just don't want to overstep what we think we're able to do. Nor do we wanna sell this project short if we see more people continuing to make a pledge towards this project. These are exciting times. 
It's amazing to see what God is doing in the midst of our community. It's amazing to see what God is doing with this building to help us complete and fulfill our vision of being for Harris. We see so many groups using this building from within the community, and we'd love to continue to see more of that happen. So, two things to remember. Congregational meeting, October the 17th. We'd love for you to be here in person. And if you haven't already let us know your intentions of whether you're able to make a commitment or not, if you could do so, we'd really appreciate it. The best person to contact is Bruce, and he will let you know any next steps for you to take. Have a great rest of your day.